Bill, Bill, Bill for Beyond says that the very last thing any wants, anyone wants to do is have a thought. Thinking is inherently disruptive. It generates a disequilibrium. We talked, mentioned last time, um, I think I would mentioned that there's this notion, particularly from neuropsychological services uh, or circles, that vertex, particularly contemporary neuropsychological and neuroscientific research, that there is a tyranny of automaticity, that the goal of our brain and our nervous system is to, um, to make as many things automatic as possible. Okay. So the, in some ways, we are, we are um, meat robots. We're supposed to very quickly assimilate as much inf- information as possible with minimal amount of ac- with only accommodation as necessary. And if you go back to that notion with Piaget, there's a there's between assimilation and accommodation. Assimilation is just it, you you find a way to take information and sort of weave it into the map you already have. Right. That sounds more like the confirmation bias I think definition. That is an mm-hmm. element of confirmation bias. When we think about confirmation bias, it's um, it is. Uh, from an evolutionary biological perspective, it is important to be efficient. We, um, uh, if um, we, we should have a map of our environment which we move in, and that map should not require much effort on our part, and so therefore we sort of form it. It's developmentally, it, it's um, it is something, and, and the very basis of these maps we have, they're old. I mean, you know, um, from an attachment theory perspective, for instance, our internal working model is usually built by six months of age. Right. So our relational maps are wired in very, very, very early. Yeah. So and from that you can make the assumption all other things are are you know are, are built. To, um, from a psychoanalytic perspective, if you want to go back to Freud, why not go back to Freud? Yeah. You no, know, we've uh, been there a few times before. It's not a problem. <laughs> it, uh, it seems to have some explanatory power. Wait, wait, so it, let's it, stay, good, good. let's stick with that. Yeah, for Freud a while. always said that you know that if you wanted to think about you know. Um, he, he surmised that thought really wasn't necessary. Even if we were capable of some form of nascent or proto-thought in the womb, it wasn't necessary because there was nothing to think. Everything was given to us. We're, we're in a state of... Uh, that homeostasis is maintained for us by an external source, i.e. mom. But the minute you're born, you have these this feeling of hunger, and um, the bottle or the breast doesn't always arrive on time. Yeah. And so you have to begin to be able to contend with and be on causes the no thing, the thing you want that's not there. And there begin thought, language, ideas. You begin to point to the things you want. Mm-hmm. It's the basis. It's the uh, relational contact, uh, thinking, all that sort of stuff begins at this, this, uh, this emergence into an environment that you have to begin to maintain your own homeostasis. Right. And so... The um, the bare the bones of our confirmations um, are laid down very early. 